Jason here on the mic. It's another random anime game time session. We're playing Hataful Boyfriend Holiday Star. We're, th we're into the third story here. So let's uh, continue on. The day the night slept. Dazzling night on the dreaming star. Ruler of the stars, the dreaming king. The path to his kingdom quietly awakens in the sleeping night sky. We must not miss the train. We cross the glowing river. We follow the obsidian map into the world of shadows. Please enter your name. Okay, so... I forget what we normally use his name. Alright, I remember now. Jackie! <laughs> I forgot what we did for the last name. Oh, it's been a while. Ah oh, yes, Fem MC. Took me a while to remember that. <laughs> Yes. I am not here. <laughs> hey, wow, we got music right away. It's almost the end of the year. Well, technically, we already went past the year. And Nageki just came out to me. What do you... I believe I am what you refer to as a ghost, bound to the place of my death. We're not playing Corpse Party. Or something like that. I only ever see him in the library, but I just thought he was a shut-in. I never expected this. I've seen a thousand wonders in my time. Even I'm a little surprised, of course. He's still Nageki. It's not like we can't be together anymore. No matter who or what he is, he's still my friend. This won't change anything. You're very strange, Miss Femsey. Shouldn't you pick your friends a little more carefully? What are you talking about? I can be friends with a ghost if I want. Ah, the music abruptly stops. That's all for today. See you all tomorrow. Half days always remind you that it's the end of the semester, huh? I miss having half days. Indeed. There is perhaps a week left? Aw, oh, that's so lonely. I, only, I want to stay in class 2-3 a little longer. That's right. In Japan, school ends uh, during the little shortly after the winter season. Cool! Oko-san feels lonely too. Oko-san does not want to be thrown out of this classroom. Hmm, why not repeat a year, if you want to stay that much? Repeating a year of high, in high school would be a little much. I don't think I ever met anyone who actually had to repeat a grade. You don't mind, Sakia? You don't feel sad that we might all split up at the end of the year? Um, not at all. Group mentality is for the weak. I guess I'm one of the weak then. I hope we all be in the same class again next year. But when I was in high school, like we all picked our electives and those became our little class. We never had a well we did have a homeroom, but it was only like once or twice we met up. 
It was not actually a social thing. <laughs> With Mr. Nanaki. Mm-hmm, well. I hope I see you all in the spring, too. The year is almost over. Meaning I'm almost through, through at the library. Two. I should be heading over there about now. Oh, could you wait a moment? Huh? We're not done? Sorry. I forgot to tell you all something. Um, they'll be opening the school the night after tomorrow. Opening the school? At night? Is it some sort of school-wide bravery challenge? You normally do that kind of thing during the summer. A grand tournament of guts too close to, to close the year. Perfect to make the blood boil and the flesh crawl. That would be Halloween. <laughs> Think of the memories we'll make. I don't want to make those memories. Unfortunately, that's not it. It's the Astronomy Club's uh, activity night. The Astronomy Club? Meaning? The Astronomy Club used to do a lot of serious observation, but after a while, their activities devoted into bonfire mixer parties. After a long and circuitous tale, they turned into a cult worshipped the and worshipped the bonfire as a god, and the student council had to enact punitary measures. What? <laughs> That's a bit of a uh, leap of logic. If you ever want to hear more about their story, go buy that thing and listen to it. You know the thing. The one that isn't out in English. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Will people even know what to buy from that description, Jackie? Woo! It's stealth marketing! Stealth marketing! It didn't sound very stealthy to me. A true samurai is never stealthy. Save that for the ninjas. So the Astronomy Club has started having activities again. That's right, though the bonfires are still banned. There's going to be a lunar eclipse at that night. We decided to open up the roof so everyone could see. You don't need to be a member of the Astronomy Club to come. Uh, member of the Astronomy Club. Everyone's welcome. A total lunar eclipse. That sounds exciting. Who knows when another one will happen? I think I'll go. I heard there's going to be a radical lunar eclipse, Nageki. It's it's a total lunar eclipse, Miss Femsi. Not a radical lunar eclipse. Nageki's stare is like a frigid wind in a Siberian winter night. Have you ever seen one, Nageki? Perhaps. I may have, or I may have not. Or not have. I do not remember. I suppose he only just realized that he's dead a few days ago. His memory must still be foggy. They're opening the school at night, the day after tomorrow, so we can see it. Want to watch it with me, Nageki? We could have a moon viewing party in the library. The moon's going to be eclipsed. I'm not sure how much of a moon viewing party that will be. Wouldn't we have a better view from the roof anyway? Oh, yes. It's going to open going to be open after all. But you can get out can you get out of here? 
If it's to the roof, then yes. Hold on! What? Really? Aren't you trapped in here? Perhaps I didn't tell you. I can't leave the library. But I can move straight up and down. That's... Oddly convenient. To the chemistry lab directly underneath us, for instance. Mobility, vertical only. That's amazing. I have to train my legs so that one day I can move like that too. Um, so you'll be able to join us on the roof? Yep. Yay! That's amazing, Nageki. Really? I'm not sure I see what good it does. Just think about it. We can go sunbathing on the roof during lunch breaks and stuff. Ah, I'm getting excited already. I suppose so. But you're always taking naps in the library's windowsill anyway, so I don't think it'll be all that different. Jeez, Nageki. Isn't a change of scene supposed to be a... Uh, be romantic. Anyways, let's watch the eclipse together. If you want to. Well, alright. Yay! Yay! Wow, okay. You're awfully enthusiastic. Of course I am. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait! this important notice please be aware this episode contains spoilers for Inugami clan by Yoko Mizo Se Seishi okay I don't know what the Inugami clan is if you're reading it or plan to read it you may want to wait until after that to play this game Okay. I don't know what it is, so sure. But Yasu did it. Otherwise, enjoy the ride. That's a surprising non seconder. I think that's how you use that term. Anyways, the promised night of the total lunar eclipse. There's lots of snow. And not a cloud in the sky. Perfect for a moon viewing party. Wait, if there are no clouds, then what are those, like, white fluffy stuff? I'm not sure it's exactly a moon viewing party, but I'm glad it's clear. The weather report said it might get cloudy after all. It's cold up here, so make sure you stay, stay warm, everyone. I'm actually glad there's a lot more music in this chapter. I see you've even brought a blanket, sir. Yes, this blanket always helps me relax. Or, as Homer would say it, z z z z z z z z z z. Wake up, you fool! Aren't you supposed to be the chaperone? Looks like the regular crew is all here. Meeting up in the school at the night like this is so exciting! Cool! It's the full moon! Oko-san's bestial heritage awakens! Can you feel the bestial inner selves calling, Jackie? Nageki? My bestial inner self? I don't think I have one. I can, Oko-san! My hunter-gatherer blood boils! You're really taking this whole human aspect to <laughs> little extreme there, huh? Looking at you, I almost wonder if there ever really was a time when humans ruled the earth, Miss Femsi. That'd be a weird little society, isn't it? Cuckoo! 
Quasan thinks Jackie's probably not a human. <laughs> what is what is she? An alien? I suppose in this universe it might happen. No, I am a human! Can the others even see him? Okasan doesn't seem to have any trouble. I've heard that animals can see ghosts, so maybe it's the same true for older breeds? How old is Oko-san then? What about Ryota? Oh hi Nageki! I thought you only ever showed up in the library. Indeed. You can see him just fine. Maybe Ryota and I are tuned with the uh, paranormal? Sakya. Ellipses. Is there really someone there? Yep. You can't see him? A kind of skinny morning dove? I am not surprised. Most birds haven't paid any attention to me until now. I am not sure I believe it. Is this a joke? No. Though if it were, if it were, I bet you'd fall for it completely. Cool. Only birds who are pure of heart can see him. Okasan is pure. <laughs> what? Do you mean to mock me, filthy mongrel? Ah, oh, jeez, don't fight you two. Those aren't, those aren't usually nocturnal, are they? Why do they all have so much energy? Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Ah, these two have too much energy as well. I had hoped they'd calm down once Christmas was passed, but it would seem they they have become excited in response to any sort of special event. Doctor! You're here to see the eclipse too? I suppose I am. It is certainly an interesting phenomenon, and these two insisted on seeing it. Merry Christmas! It's hide and seek! And they also froze in time. It's like, at the end of the movie, it's like, Yeah! Mr. Moon is playing hide and seek! Well, everyone seems to be having fun. Mm, it's almost midnight. Look at the sky, everyone. It should start soon. Nageki, Nageki! It's starting! You don't need to shout, I can hear you perfectly well. Don't bother the neighbors. Oh, it's the middle of the night. I forgot. Um, Nageki? Can I sit next to you? Go ahead. I can't tell if his feathers are warm or cold. I can barely even tell that I'm touching them at all. It could be just my imagination. But sitting here gazing up at the night sky, he looks happier than usual. Seeing his face makes me feel warm inside. This must be my imagination. The eclipse is starting! Okay, we're on a train? I can see no one else on the train. It's very quiet. It's a very abrupt change of scenery. I was kind of half expecting like the uh, Mega Ten type uh, opening of the demon portal gates and the moon kind of thing. What has happened? Is this the last train? It's dark outside. I look up and address the dove leaning his head out the window opposite. Don't stick your head out too far, Nageki. 
I won't. I really like his music. It looks so strange outside. What are those lights flowing by? Are we next to a river? I think so. The river of stars, that is. Uh, the river of stars? The Milky Way. Those are the stars you see. Oh, so that's it. I reminded of uh, an anime movie series called uh, Galaxy 39. It's kind of like this. There's also another like other anime movies so where like this uh, family of cats ride on this train to these different worlds. I forget what that movie is called. I've seen it once on the uh, the Space Channel. I couldn't figure out what the show was, so it's been a long time for me to hunt that down. Am I making any sense? I should look up more anime movies about cats and trains. But that's for another time. I see blue stars and green ones and all colors. They are indeed a great variety. Oh, that's an astrology plate. Our astronomy plate. Nageki takes a black plane planisphere out from somewhere and points at it. Can birds point? We're here. Near Cygnus. Cygnus. That's the um, the swan, right? Is that a constellation? That's right. Maybe you know it as the swan. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I know that one. So Cygnus was the swan. I never knew. Oh, Jackie, you liar. The bright one we just passed if, passes the Neb. I think we all... I think we'll see Albiero in a few minutes. You know a lot, Nageki. I always told that every hunter gatherer needs to be able to find the Polar find Polaris. But other than that, I don't know any, any of them. If we pass its tail and we're nearing and we're nearing the head, we must be traveling north to south. But the swan is a summer constellation. It's a little early for us to be seeing it from the Northern Hemisphere. It's still the third semester after all. Wait, Nageki? When did we get onto this train? Who knows? Where are we going? I don't know. And the train is going through outer space? You only just noticed this now? It would seem so. Uh, what do I do? We're finally on a date in outer space and I forgot my space suit! Oh, you, Jackie. What will happen if I go into a vacuum without a space suit on? Will I explode? I'll just be rendered inert. The window's been open f the entire time. Close it, Nageki! Before we explode! Calm down, Miss Femsy. It's alright. This is probably just a dream. A dream? That's right. Nageki can move vertically, but he still can't leave the school. There's no way we could be on the train together. Um, what are we doing? Astronomy? Oh, right. We were watching the eclipse on the roof of everyone. And then we got magically teleported. Does this mean we fell asleep in the middle of the eclipse? Perhaps. It's a little bit cliche. 
but you could try pinching your cheek. Oh, yes. Ellipses. Hmm, it doesn't hurt. Feels kind of unsatisfying. I feel the same as always. But if you don't feel normal, this must be a dream. I see. That's too bad. Going on a trip with you would be so much fun, but it's just a dream. I don't mind if it is. He continues staring out the window at the pale stars. He seems more open than usual. I guess he's right. We should enjoy ourselves, even if it's just a dream. We will be checking tickets now. Please have them ready at the as the conductor comes by. Ooh. That's not a photo, that's a drawing. Howdy there. Please show me your tickets. The conductor appears with all the sound. I never felt him coming. But um Tish. He's as good as the doctor. Um, wait, have I met you somewhere before? Could be. I see too many people every day, you know. I really feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Maybe it's just a coincidence? Probably not. But for me, it's the first time I'm seeing him. Anyways, tickets please! Tickets? You mean we need to pay to ride the train even though it's a dream? Oh. I see you have a scorpion flame, sir. The planisphere gets you on for free! Wow! You get a free ride, Nageki! I don't remember getting this any anywhere. Of course not! The Scorpion Flame is a treasure passed down only to those chosen ones. Space can be a dangerous place for someone without one of those. Take good care of it. Never, ever, ever give it to anyone, no matter how they ask. Alright. It is a far cry from what a middle schooler might use in a science fair project. It looks antique and valuable. The stars are printed on it on the surface. It instead glitter almost like their own light. With their own light. Are those real gemstones? And you miss? You don't have a planisphere, do you? I need to pay a fare too? Of course you do. Only the one with the planisphere gets off for free. Ah, what a financially terrible, dri troubling dream. What do I do? Do I hear that I can use this as a ticket? Here! Ah, Bob White luck card. Okay. What is that? It's the fortune I drew at, at the temple on the New Year's. You've been holding it onto it for a while. Ah, that's the ticket for the green car. It is? You can stay here if you want, but you can move to the celebrity car. Wait, does that be more important? See you around. What a convenient dream. The train will be stopping for a few mo minutes to wait for to wait for signals. So there are traffic signals in outer space. It would seem so. Though one would think with so much room, they could arrange it so that the train would never ha have to stop. Yeah, I think Galaxy Three Nine Express uh, went from destination to destination. Non-stop. Yeah, 
uh... Oh! Nakiki! Nakiki! There's a station! We aren't really trying to get anywhere right, anyway. Wanna get off? A station? Didn't they just say we were stopping to wait for signals? But there's a platform and everything! Look, it says Southern Cross Line, the King's Station. Oh man, Southern Cross. The enemies of the uh, Hokuto no Ken. Let's get off! Alright, let's go. Wow.